There's a story of a man called Brady, and he had many children of his own. Oh, just messing. Oh, you, if it depends on your age, you may have heard of this TV series called The Brady Bunch. Well, this isn't really The Brady Bunch. This is a real life story. The aim of this little video is to show and to create understanding as to why a person may do certain things in poverty situations. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you through different things. Here I am, I've been, it will be one week officially that I've moved, unofficially that I've moved into this bed sit unit. So here are some items, I'm just going to take you, do a quick overview. These were given from the place I last stayed. These are my everyday things. That bag I use as a brolly because my hands have to be free. Um, these are items that I just kept as staple, staple items. Uh, this is my everyday wear shoes. This chair is turned over to indicate it's not to be used. Anyway, you'll understand that soon. Right, this is food that I have in a bag. Here is food I got last week Tuesday from a church that was doing, you can see me there, this is Flo, by the way, this is Flo, Great, Flo Maloney hyphen Prendergast, that's my Facebook, and my other site is True Understanding Matters. My full name is Florence Grace Maloney Nee Prendergast, and today is Thursday, guess what, oh, actually I'm trying to remember, the Thursday the 7th of October. 2021. Thank you for standing by for that station identification. Yes, yeah, so that's me there. Right, last week, Tuesday, I'm just giving you the items first and then I'm going to connect it. So stay with me. Uh, yeah, last week, Tuesday, got these items from a food bank. There to throw, throw, because I'm going to get rid of that. They, that's gone off. That food is smelling. Uh, Sunday, I went to a local church, blood sugar low, and anyway, you understand. These are lovely items my sister's given me. And here is the stuff that I've had in this kitchen unit um, with water. I've taken everything out, the cupboards, the drawers, uh, the fridge, um, as you can see. And here is also where I updated my universal credit account on Friday to state that I, actually it was Friday 24, to state that I was, I had moved uh, 24th of September. Right, so here's the connection. This is my everyday bag because it's easy to carry things. Why would I have a reduced amount of things? Because if you have a lot of things, if you amass possessions very quickly, you also then have to store them. It's like a domino effect. You buy what you want, uh, that comes out of your account. Uh, then it, the more you get, the more you accumulate, the more you have to put in a place. If you don't have a stable base, it doesn't make sense accumulating. Yes, correct? If you're still with me. Well done. Okay. So... Let's look at this, these items from a food bank. It's wonderful for a food bank to actually give items like this. What was, uh, my journey's been 12 years plus, back and forth, different places. What was the biggest benefit for me was the hot meal. I didn't want to cook because <laughs> the facilities, my situation was moving on. And so my, uh, the setup, that I was in, my position changed. Whereas before, when I hadn't moved out, I was able to do certain things, which was a massive blessing, and I praise God for the lovely people. Now, here I'm showing you, um, here's something about a service. I've bent the card so you don't see the person's name. Uh, inspired to helping people f to better manage their physical, psychosocial, and spiritual health. And I think that's the one that comes on to the person who helps people with their benefits. Now, I happened to go to a particular church on Sunday. Blood sugar was low. And uh, some people have different setups in their system. And so 
I was very blessed and I went in going, oh, do you, what help do you have? Oh, we have a food bank. Oh, what help do you give? Now, I'm not into denomination, I'm into faith. Now, the Bible talks a lot of, speaks about a lot of things. And whenever you look at the Bible, don't come with your mindset. I'm not pleased. Please understand. I There's a scripture that says God has chosen the poor of the world to be rich in faith. When I hit my poverty situation back in 2008, I turned to the Bible like it was food because just a word kept me sane. All right, so I need to close up. And I was bringing the Isaiah 58. When you see the poor cast out, bringing an ideal. Do they have this? Do they have that? But I waited till after the service, which I was encouraged to. Got a hot tea, got a hot meal. I could have eaten three of the meals, by the way, which they gave. I was so grateful. Now, these things my sister gave me, yeah? Brilliant, loving, caring sister. But once again, if you don't have a stable basic, things aren't working out, what do you do? Here's food. You're eating, eating, eating. But you've got to eat with wisdom. Eat for strength and not for gluttony. Now I'm going to conclude. Um, the wonderful food, intention of giving food in tins. I don't know the sell by day and use by day issue and how these things have come about. But if you have a health, if you're aware of health and you're just eating tin food, uh, these uh, sugars and all that, I, I was quite hungry on the Sunday, even though I ate a nice meal where I went. I put together, I opened a tin of baked beans and some mac and cheese and what a combination. Next morning, you know, you're free to make your choices, but you're not free to choose the consequences of your choice. I tell you, the next morning now, I really felt it. Excuse my pseudo Nigerian. Okay, in conclusion. So here I made, um, I stated that I had changed my, where I was staying. Uh, I, I get my universal credit on a particular day of the month. Um, no change. I was told I had updated changes within the assessment period. So I will get the house and the rent that I paid as a transfer uh, straight into my account this month. It didn't come. And the next rent is due before my next um, universal credit. If I hadn't saved, I would be in dire straits. Now, I folded up everything. I had a cupboard in that, carpet down. But you see, I'm not going to use those things. I want you to connect the dot. We're in a world where we're accumulating, accumulating. No one who's in a poverty situation wants to remain in it. True understanding matters. So what would you like for yourself? What do you think the solution is? Thank you for looking. This is Flo Maloney High from Prendergast. Today is Thursday, the 7th of October, 2021. Thank you for looking.